Hey, Lance. Hey, Colin. This comment is no excuse for your anti-white behaviors. And let me first say, I agree with you. You are punching up. There is a huge difference in the power of each side. But you can't beat fire with fire. When you say anti-white rhetoric, are you referring to reverse racism? If so, reverse racism is a myth. You see, there are assumptions and stereotypes about white people that's called racial prejudice, not racism. Some example of racial prejudice for white people is white people can't dance or white people can't season their food. This is not racism because of the systemic relationship to power. When it's backed with power and privilege, then this results in discrimination and oppression of groups or individuals. And when you say fight fire with fire, you do realize white people started it, right? You're honestly just adding to the flames. Not only on the post where you said white people should not produce, but on 90% of your page. It's really funny that a lot of folks similar to you reacted similarly, but will stay quiet when undocumented women were forced to be sterilized in ICE detention centers from 2018 to 2020. All I see is hate from both sides. So my question to you is, then why am I the only one receiving this address? Why are you not making efforts to address your white peers who are blatantly racist to me and the indigenous community? Because from how I see it, you're addressing me in order to shield them. That's pathetic. I would like to ask you to stop fanning the flame. So you're saying it's okay for white racist individuals to attack me all day long, only if I turn a cheek and smile. I understand that you're standing up for yourself and you have the entire right to do so, but your content is race baiting. What you're doing now is tone policing me. You're giving me permission to defend myself only if I don't hurt your feelings. You have absolutely no right to tell me what is or is not offensive to me or other black indigenous people of color. It's not race baiting to stand up against insensitive actions and words. And I'm finding it very hard to give you respect because you harbor one of the most negative communities on TikTok. I don't understand why you think it is I'm trying to gain your respect. And the only way to do that is if I play by the terms that you set. I wish that some other indigenous creators on this app had the platform that you have because they actually use their content to educate and change people's minds. So you don't think I belong here? I'm not here to entertain you. 